Namaste. On the occasion of 7th International Yoga Day, on behalf of ICCR Goa, I, Ms. Agnella, extend you all a warm welcome. Yoga was started in 2015 by Honorable Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi ji. It is celebrated every year on 21st of June. Yoga is a way of living that aims towards a healthy mind in a healthy body. Including yoga in everyday life is one of the healthiest practice people can ever make. The art of practicing yoga helps in controlling an individual's mind, body, and soul. It brings together physical and mental disciplines to achieve a peaceful body and mind. It helps manage stress and anxiety and keeps you relaxing. Yoga asanas build strength, flexibility, and confidence. The regular practice of yoga can help lose weight, relieve stress, improve immunity, and maintain a healthier lifestyle. Today, on this occasion, we shall have a small session on common yoga protocol. Today, we have Ms. Sushma Enge, a former yoga teacher from Rajvik, Iceland, here with us, who will help me with demonstration of the asanas. Okay, so let us begin the session with a prayer. You may sit comfortably with your back straight. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. We shall begin with chanting of Om three times, followed by a prayer. Take a deep breath in. Oh. Oh. Now you may join your palms. Sanga Jatvam Samvadatvam Sambu Manasi Janita Deva Bhagam Yatapurve Sanjana Upasati Sanjana Upasati you may slowly get your palms on your knees and open your eyes. Now we shall start with our first practice that is the loosening practices. Please stand up on your mat. The loosening practices, the Chalana Kriyas. We begin with our neck movements. Keep your feet shoulder width apart, hands on your, hands on your waist, your spine erect. We start with our neck bending, forward and backward bending. As you inhale, slowly stretch your head back as much as you can. While exhaling, move it forward slowly and try to touch the chest. 
repeat this two more. Next is right and left bending. While exhaling, bend your head slowly to the right hand side. Bring the ear as close as possible to the shoulder without raising your shoulder. While inhaling, bring it back to the normal position. Similarly, while exhaling, bend the head to the left hand side. Inhale and bring the head up to normal position. This is one round. Complete two such more rounds. Right and left twisting. Keep your head upright. While exhaling, gently turn your head to the right so that the chin is in line with your shoulder. Inhale and bring it back to the center. Exhale and repeat the same on the other side. Next is neck rotation. As you exhale, bend the head forward, trying to touch the chin to the chest. Slowly and rotate the head clockwise in a circular mode. Exhale while coming down. Do a full rotation and complete two rounds. Now repeat this for anti-clockwise direction. Move your head as far as possible. Do not overstrain. Keep the keep your shoulders relaxed and steady. Feel the stretch around the neck and loosening up of the joints and muscles of the neck. Relax as you come back to the center. Stretch your hands. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Next, we move on to the shoulder movement. Get your feet closer. Hands by your sides. Here we are doing our shoulders stretch. Shoulder rotation. Keep your fingers on your shoulders. Now full rotation of your elbows in a circular motion. The same thing you repeat on the opposite direction. This practice of this Kriya makes the bones, muscles, and nerves of your shoulders region healthy. This is also benefiting the shoulder. Get your feet closer. 
keep your feet shoulder width apart as we move on to the trunk movement kati kati shakti vikashak kriya your palms facing each other align with your shoulders now as you exhale twist the body towards the left hand side so that the right palm touches the left shoulder come back with inhalation back to the center and repeat the same on the other side repeat for two more rounds do this practice slowly with normal breathing relax in the center get your hands down next is the knee movement as you inhale lift your arms up at the shoulder level palms facing downwards as you exhale bend the knees and bring down your body to a squatting position in the final position both your arms and thighs should be parallel to the ground inhale and straighten the body repeat for two more times exhale and squat down inhale and come up as you exhale get your hands down and you relax next we move on to yoga asanas we start with the standing postures we shall begin with tadasana the palm tree pose tada means palm tree or mountain this asana resembles a palm tree hence the name stand with your feet 2 inches apart hands by your sides inhale and stretch your hands up interlock your fingers and turn your wrist upwards as you inhale further you slowly stretch on your toes stretch your ankles ensure that your back is straight your gaze will be fixed on a point in line with your eyes be in this position for 10 to 15 seconds this asana brings stability in the body and helps to clear congestion of the spinal nerves and corrects fault faulty posture it also helps to increase height up to a certain age as you exhale slowly come back bring the heels down get your hands down and relax this was tad asana next we move on to vriksh asana the tree posture vriksha means tree the final position of this asana resembles the shape of a tree hence the name stand with your feet 2 inches apart focus on a point in line with your eyes bend your right leg at your knee and place it on your left foot ensure that the heel should be touching the perineum as you inhale extend the arms up and join the palms stay in this position for 10 to 15 seconds breathe normally this asan improves neuromuscular coordination balance endurance and alertness
It also tones up the leg muscles and rejuvenates the ligaments also. As I exhale, slowly get your hands down and your feet down. Relax. Repeat the same with the other leg. Breathe normally and your gaze fixed on a point in line with your eyes. As you exhale, slowly get your hands down, bring your feet down and relax. Next asana is Padahastasana, the hands to feet posture. Pada means feet, hasta means hands. Therefore, Pada Hastasan means taking your palms downwards to the feet. This is also known as Uttanasana. Mm -hmm. Avoid this practice in case of cardiac or back problems, hernia, vertigo, and also during pregnancy. Stand with your feet two inches apart. Inhale slowly and raise your arms up. Stretch up the body from the waist. As you exhale, bend forward until the trunk is parallel to the ground. Exhale and bend forward until the entire palm rests on the ground. Maintain this final posture for 10 seconds. Your eyes remain closed and your breath is normal. Those who are having stiff back should bend according to Now inhale and come up slowly to the vertical position. Stretch the arms above the head. Exhale and slowly return to the starting position. Relax in Tadasana. This was Padahastasana. This asana makes the spine flexible, improves digestion, prevents constipation and menstrual problems. Next, we move on to Ardha Chakrasana, the half wheel posture. Ardha means half, Chakra means wheel. In this posture, the body takes the shape of a half wheel, hence the name. Keep your feet either two inches or shoulder width apart, body relaxed, your body weight equally distributed on both your legs. Place your palms on your waist. With your fingers pointing forward or downward, drop your head backwards, stretching the neck muscles. As you inhale, bend backwards from the lumbar region. Try to relax in this posture. Stay there for 10 to 30 seconds with normal breathing. Inhale and slowly come up. Next, we move on to Trikon Asana, the triangle posture. Keep your feet one and a half meter apart. This asana, Trikona means triangle. It resembles a triangle. Inhale as you stretch your hands in line with your shoulders, your palms facing forward. 
As you exhale, slowly bend to your right hand side. Turn your right sole outward, heel will be pointing inward. Exhale as you bend down and gaze up at your right left palm. Sorry. Trying to get your chin in line with your shoulders. This asana helps prevent black pain. It also strengthens the calf, thigh, and waist muscles. Makes the spine flexible and improves lung capacity. As you inhale, slowly come back. And repeat the same for the next side. Turn your left sole outward. Exhale as you bend. Do not bend beyond your limits and overdo the lateral stretch. If one cannot touch the feet, one can reach for the knees instead. Keep your breath normal. As you inhale, slowly come back to the starting position. Exhale, get your hands down, feet together, relax. Next, we move on to the sitting posture. You may sit down with your legs stretched in front of you. We move on to Bhadrasan, the firm and auspicious posture. Bend your legs at your knees. Put your soles together. Exhale. Hold your toes. Pull your heels as close as possible up to the perineum region. So that are not touching or are not close to the floor, play, you can place a soft cushion underneath the knees for support. This is the posture. It helps also to relieve your knee pain. Mm -hmm. As you exhale, you may slowly release this posture and relax. Relax in Dandasana. Next, we move on to Vajrasana. Sit with your legs extended. and place the foot on right buttock. Similarly, fold the left leg and place the foot under your left buttock. Place palms on your knees. Keep your spine erect, gaze in front or close your eyes. Keep your breath normal. This asana strengthens the thigh muscles and calf muscles. It is also very good for digestion. It provides firm base to the spine and keeps the spine erect. Hence, it is used for meditation. As you exhale, you may slowly release your right leg and then your left leg and relax. Next, we move on to Ushtrasan. Ushtra means camel. The final version of this asana resembles the hump of a camel. 
Let us go for this asan. Bend your right leg at your knee. Then your left leg. Come into Vajrasana. And slowly stand on your knees. Place your hands on your waist. Fingers pointing downward. Keep the elbows and shoulders parallel. Bend your head back and stretch your neck muscles. Inhale and bend the trunk. Bend backward as much as possible. Remain in this posture for 10 seconds. As you exhale, slowly let it go. Come back, straighten your feet and relax. Next, we move on to Uttan Manduk Asana, the stretched up frog posture. Bend your right leg at your knee and your left leg. Into Vajrasana, spread your knees apart. Now, as you exhale, inhale, Raise your right arm up, fold it and take it backward from above on the right shoulder and place the palm below your left shoulder. Similarly, take your left arm up and place it on your right shoulder blade. Maintain this posture for a while. Your spine remains erect. You may keep your eyes closed. Be there with normal breathing. This asana is helpful in backache and cervical pain. It also helps in improving the diaphragmatic movements and helps to improve lung capacity. As you exhale, slowly get your hands back and straighten your feet. Relax. Now straighten your feet in front of you. We move on to Vakrasan, the spinal twist posture. Bend your right leg at your knee. up and place it on the try to catch hold of your ankle twist your spine and chin in line with your shoulder be there in this posture with normal breathing as you inhale slowly release your hands straighten your feet and relax Repeat this posture with your next leg. Bend your left leg at your knee and twist towards your left hand side. This asana helps increase flexibility of the spine, helps, helps to overcome constipation, stimulates pancreas and helps in the management of diabetes.
as you inhale, release the posture and relax. Next, we move on to the prone postures. Lie down on your chest into Makar Asana, the crocodile pose. Your palms one over the other. You may place your head on your palms and relax. This asana is also known as crocodile pose. Makara means, makar means crocodile. Next, we move on to the bhujang asana, the cobra pose. Bhujang means snake or cobra. The body is raised like a hood of a snake. Hence is the name. Take your palms and place them beside your chest or your shoulders, your chin on the ground, your ankles stretched, your toes pointed. As you inhale, slowly raise your chest and chin up. Come up to the navel region. Stay there comfortably. This asana is the best for stress management. It is also known as the happy pose. It reduces abdominal fat and elevates constipation. It is also helpful to remove backache. As you exhale, slowly release the asana and relax in makar asana or the crocodile pose. Shalap asana, the locust pose. Shalap means a locust, hence the name. Now slowly rest the chin on the floor. Keep both hands beside the body, palms facing upwards. You can take your palms and place them under your thighs. As you inhale, lift your legs off the floor without bending your knees Stretch your ankles, your toes pointed. Squeeze your buttocks, pull your kneecaps. Stay in this posture for 10 to 20 seconds with your breath normal. This asana helps in sciatica and lower back ache. It tones the hip muscles and those in the kidney region. It reduces fat on the thighs and buttocks and it's very good for weight management. As you exhale, slowly release the asana, come back into Makar Asana and relax. relax. Next, we move on to supine postures. Turn over and lie on your back. Your face turned towards the ceiling, palms facing the sky. We shall begin with Setu Bandha Asana, the bridge posture. Setu Bandha means formation of bridge. In this posture, the body is positioned like a bridge, hence the name. This is also called Bend your legs at your knees. Bring the heels near the buttocks. Now slowly try to catch hold of your ankles. As you inhale, lift your buttocks and your trunk up, trying to get your thighs parallel to the ground. Keep your eyes closed and your breath normal. In the final position, the shoulders and the head remain in contact with the floor. This asana relieves depression 
and anxiety and strengthens your lower back muscles. It stretches the abdominal muscles. It also improves digestion and helps to relieve constipation. As you exhale, slowly get your buttocks back to the ground. Straighten your feet and relax with your palms turned towards the ceiling. Next, we move on to Ardha Halasana, half plow posture. Ardha means half, Hala means plow. This posture is known as Ardha Halasana because in this final position, the body resembles ha half the shape of an Indian plow. Those who have lower back pain should perform should not perform this asana with both your legs up. You can do it with one leg at a time. Let us start. Your palms pressed on the ground, facing the ground. Your feet close to each other. Now slowly raise your legs together without bending at your knees and stop at 30 angles, 30 degrees. As you inhale. Now, Inhale further and take your legs up to 90 degrees. This is the final posture of Ardha Halasana. Be in this posture with normal breathing. The body from the hip to the shoulder should be, should kept, should be kept straight. As you exhale, you may slowly Get your feet down. And relax. Next asana is Pavan Mukta Asana, the wind releasing posture. Pavan means wind and Mukta means to release or to make free. As the name suggests, the asana is useful for removing wind or flatulence from the stomach and intestines. Let us start with this asana. Bend both the legs, both the legs at your knees and bring the thighs to your chest. Interlock your fingers and press your, hold your feet and bringing your knees to your chest. Now, as you exhale, Raise the head till your chin touches the knees and relax. You may stretch your ankles, your toes pointed. This asana removes constipation, gives re relief from flatulence, decreases the bloating sensation in the abdomen and aids digestion. Now slowly, as you exhale, you may drop your head down, straighten your feet, and slowly get your feet down. Relax. Into Shavasan, your palms turn towards the ceiling. Your eyes closed. Next, we move on to Shav Asana, the dead body posture. Shav means dead body. The final position of this asana resembles a dead body. Your palms facing upwards. Your eyes remain closed. Relax the whole body consciously. Become aware of the whole body. Become aware of the natural breath. As you breathe in and out, let it become rhythmic and slow. This asana helps relieve all kinds of tension and gives rest to both your body and mind. It relaxes the whole 
and every each and every part of your body the mind which is constantly attracted to the outer world takes a u turn and moves inward thus gradually getting absorbed as the mind turns quiet and absorbed the practitioner remains undisturbed by the external environment this is very good for stress management take a deep breath in exhale and slowly move your fingers and toes a little turn to your right hand side and slowly with the support of your palms and elbows come up to sitting posture sit with your back straight your eyes closed we shall now move on to pranayama we start with kapalabhati ensure that your back is relaxed shoulders relaxed your eyes closed inhale deeply through both your nostrils and expand your chest exhale completely now take a deep breath in and exhale here we are going to expand the breath with forceful contractions of the abdominal muscles and relax let us do feel of kapalbhati forceful with contraction of your abdominal muscles each set will be of 60 strokes start relax take a deep breath in exhale let us go for the second round of kapalbhati take a deep breath in exhale the final round of kapalbhati relax take a deep breath in relax let us go for the final round of kapal bhati
take a deep breath in, exhale, relax. Next, we move on to Anilom Vilom. Your back remains straight. Let us take the Pranav Mudra. Make a feast of your palms. Close your index finger and your middle finger. Close your right nostril with your thumb and inhale through your left nostril. Exhale through your right nostril. Inhale through your right and exhale through your left nostril. This is one round. Complete five such rounds. Normal breathing. The duration of the inhale and your exhalation should be equal. The breath should be slow, steady and controlled. It should not be forced or restricted in any way. Exhale through your left nostril and relax. Next, we move on to Brahmari Pranayama. Brahmari is derived from Brahmara, which means black tea. During this practice of pranayama, the sound produced resembles the buzzing of a black tea. Ensure that your back is straight, your eyes closed, Take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale slowly in a controlled manner while making a deep, steady humming sound such as the sound of the black tea. This is one round of Brahmari. Now, use the Shanmukhi Mudra. Close your ears with your thumb, your index finger above your eyebrow, your middle finger on the nostrils, your ring finger on the upper lip and your little finger below your lower lip. Breathe in through your nose and exhale, making a deep steady humming sound Complete two rounds and relax. Your palms on your knees. Your eyes remain closed. Take a deep breath in and exhale. The practice of Brahmari will leave stress and health in elevating anxiety, anger, and hyperactivity. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, we move on to Dhyan, meditation. Your spine remains comfortably erect. Your breath normal. You need not concentrate, just maintain a mild focus between the eyebrows and be conscious of your breath. Dissolve your thoughts and attain a single and pure thought. Take a deep breath in.
the session with some I can self to always be in a balanced state of mind. It is in this state that my highest self-development reaches its greatest possibility. I commit to do my duty to self, family, at work, to society, and to the world for the promotion of peace, health, and harmony. हमें अपने मन को हमेशा संतुलित रखना है इसी में ही हमारा आत्मविश्वास समाया है मैं अपने कर्तव्य खुद के प्रति कुटुंब के प्रति काम समाज और विश्व के प्रति शांति आनंद और स्वास्थ्य के प्रचार के लिए बद्ध हूँ फाइनली एंड विथ शांति पाथ यू मे क्लो जॉइन योर पाम्स Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Let us chant Om Kar three times, followed by Shanti Pa. Inhale. सर्वे 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 पश्यन्तु कश्चित दुख भवे ओ शांति शांति नमस्ते थैंक यू सुषमा एंड वी कम टू द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन एंड आई थैंक आई सी सी आर गोवा फॉर अलाउिंग मी टू बी ऑन द प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ ICCR thank you so much thank you sushma enge for joining me for the demonstration thank you namaste